weekend we're at Greenock. We are staying on the Oval, which is just in the center of town. It is a long pitch, a uh, cricket pitch. Uh, in cricket season, you can't actually camp along the Oval, but you can stay up here where the trees are. Make sure you add this one to your checklist. There is heaps of locations for wineries and it is situated in the Barossa Valley. Street wineries we are doing the $10 tasting and we have just had the regional cheese platter can't fold anything it's really yummy really nice I'm not a fan of the duck paste <laughs> no Miles doesn't like the duck paste or the blue cheese or the blue cheese <laughs> but if you do the wine tasting and then you buy a bottle of wine that fee does come off so yeah and here's that one no, it's really good. Uh, so at Murray Street Wines, we chose the Cabernet Savion, and it is also dog friendly, accessible for everybody, and a beautiful scenery. So you've got these beautiful buildings, and then you've got the vineyards behind. See, so yeah, they they give you um, a couple of dog treats and a uh, bowl full of water if you do bring your dogs along, which is great. Uh, they accommodate them most of the place through the winery. Yeah. Uh, and you get the beautiful view of the winery out the back. Something that's. Okay, I need to top up. Someone give me some. You got it? <laughs> Get your hat on. That's it. Where are you, Lily? I'm going to touch it. Pop the chips. Yeah! <laughs> she won't yeah. have that one again. There you go, you can have that one then. <laughs> Win. Crystal thinks she doesn't need any more wine. I've had enough wine. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight for dinner we are doing sausage. No, we're doing cordon bleu chicken things and vegetables. So we're just at the Barossa Valley Chocolate Factory. Oh, oh, look at those little oh, platters. Oh, look at that looks amazing. Oh, look at the chocolate. I like the pink one. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the eggs. Oh, look at the shoes. Hello. <laughs> 
Bubble gum. Is it yummy? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Try it. Oh, oh okay. How is it? Mm, it's very nice, just like bubble gum. And what's in here? It. My one is gamey. You got mint. Mm. I am mint. Chuck mint. Yeah. I am duck mint. Yep. <laughs> you got mint. Bye. You've got caramel and you've got honeycomb. Honeycomb. Mm. So we're just here at the chocolate factory and um, we've bought some chocolate to take home. We got, um, Crystal got some white chocolate with cookies and cream and I chose a bit of a white chocolate rocky road so we'll see how that Give tastes. Another bite of your cream. It is pretty expensive though, um, the prices are up there for chocolate but the ice creams are definitely well worth it. Um, the kids love theirs and we liked ours. And there's also wine tasting out the back. And um, I think you get ice creams and sorbets when you do that as well by the looks of it. So definitely worth checking out if you're up here in the uh, Barossa Valley region. Uh, and we're just down at Grenock. I want to buy a Yukon. So after this, we're going to go ahead and um, check out a big park. <laughs> Mine. We're gonna go check out a park for the kids, so we'll take you there and have a look. <laughs> yeah, you can go on the big slide. Oh, was that fun? Adventure Park. It's quite new to the area, so it's an old railway station that they've renovated and formed into an area for kids to play and something to do in the area. With this Angerston Railway Park, they've also turned it into a bike track, so you can do a whole loop of the train yards and what it used to be. Surprised you didn't grab this crystal. Mm, plum paste. I'm a sucker for paste. Well, I've got cheese. So I've got a Barossa triple cream and I've got a Barossa feta. So I'm going to put that in the king of salad. Alright, guys, that's it for another one. Uh, Grenock is a great spot. If you're in the Adelaide area, make sure you get it out. It's in the Barossa Valley. Heaps to do there. Yeah, like it's uh, right right in the centre of Grenock. So you can easily walk to um, wineries. Uh, there's the brewery hotel as well, which is where we ate dinner on the Friday night because we had no kids. We had a yeah. night off. So it was good. Yeah, it's expensive, but the best food. Yeah, like, yeah, it was all just the delicious. food. All the food apparently is great there, so it yep. doesn't matter what you order, apparently it will be nice. But book ahead, make sure you call up and book a table because it does fill up. Um, yeah, it was just, yeah, I can't speak any highly of, any more highly of the hotel. It was amazing. Yeah. Probably one of my favourite wineries this time around was Gleski. Yeah, definitely. That was really nice. Yeah. She was one of the granddaughters of the owners. Yeah, she just knew everything, all the history, really loved um, the storytelling of the wine, which is really nice because you get some people who literally just say, this is the wine and the year and they walk off. So, really recommend Kleski. Um, Shaluda, we didn't get any footage of Shaluda because we lost the footage, our SIM card actually died on us. But that was also highly recommend, especially if you want like a really relaxed, environment and yeah. you just feel really well. He's a great he's a great old bloke uh, and it's it's dog friendly as well so yeah so yeah, all yeah. of them are dog friendly except for um, um but they had a dog bowl so I'm not 
I'm a bit confused about that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe they were dog friendly. We didn't know. Yeah, it says it's not dog friendly, but then there's a dog bowl. So maybe just check with them first if you do plan on taking your dogs around. Um, they also hold the uh, wine on the grass events. So if you are in the area, just see, see if they're holding that because that is a really nice event to go to. Um, we were lucky enough to to go to that one last time. Again, that's the time that we lost all our footage. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think the next one, they do it through spring on the sound thing, so the next one's not till November or something. October. October. Yeah, yeah, October, November, so. Yeah. But no, it's right in the Barossa Valley, heaps of do. There's like quite a few um, towns that make up the valley, so plenty of places to visit if you are looking for something outside of Grenoble. But for $5 a night, you really can't go wrong. Yeah, and up to seven nights. Yep. Uh, you just have to be fully self contained, that's the only catch yeah but um, there's toilets bins and a dump point so and there's fresh water so there's really no reason yeah you, other yeah. than the fact if you can't catch your water yeah you um, just walk over open. and um oh, plenty of people use buckets and you just do little shuttle runs to the, yeah, the dump point dump your, dump your water if you have to yeah but no it can't fault the place honestly would recommend that was our second time so yep. and we wouldn't go back if you know we didn't love it the first time around so yeah yeah, she's falling asleep from uh, walking. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, queries, or comments, drop them there, drop them below, and uh, we'll get back to you. But yeah, uh, everything is dog friendly that we've been to in this video, so that's one to note too. Even the chocolate factory and the ice creamery, it's yeah. dog friendly outside on yeah. the grass. Yeah, the uh, parks there, everything. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. It's a very dog friendly area, which is excellent for travellers. So. Yeah, it's good to see towns that are, you know, welcoming people with their dogs and they're actually uh, accommodating for the dogs. Yeah. Yeah, like one winery brought us out smacko treats for the dogs first before she gave us anything. So, yeah, it was really cool to see. But yeah, as always, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help our channel out and it helps uh, recommend our videos to other people as well. But yeah, cool. All right. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,